Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to worship on this fourth Sunday of Advent. This is the Sunday of love. It's also the Sunday of the Christmas pageant, um, as you can see. So it is going to be a day full of love and a day full of all of the other elements of uh, the Advent wreath of peace and hope and of joy. There is a lot of joy. You will need a star for the end of the pageant. So if you forgot to bring a star, Meg has a basket of stars that she's kind of walking around with. So make sure you get a star for the end of the pageant when uh, you'll be invited to hold up your star. Right, without further ado, let's move into our worship time. You'll notice that all of the words to all of the hymns are in your bulletin. I'll invite you to stay seated for the carols that we sing throughout the Christmas pageant. Um, and I'm, our prayer shell group is going to light our Advent wreath this morning. But first, let us be in a spirit of worship as we begin with our prelude. On the fourth Sunday of Advent, we know that God's love has always been with us. God's love has been made known to us in a new way through the birth of the Christ child. God has become one of us. The word that breathes the spirit into us and in Christ, we know the fullness of God's love. We are called to share that love with the world. We light this fourth candle for the love of God passes for the whole world.
please join us for the opening hymn, Angels from the Realm of Glory. The words are on the paper inside. Please join me in the unison prayer in, in your program. Lord of love and light, shine through our darkness, bringing us hope. Open our hearts for the journey, our eyes for the light, our spirits for the peace of which you bring. Fill our mouths with laughter and speech, with shouts of joy, that we shall reveal the love with which you surround us. We, we offer this prayer, prayer in the name of the one who is coming to the world, bringing you hope, love, peace, and joy, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We take a time to share joys and concerns with one another as we gather um, as a community of faith and as a people of God here in this place. What are the particular prayers, joys, concerns um, that you bring to share with one another this morning? <laughs> Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for these days when the air is alive with anticipation. It is alive, of course, always, but in these days that approach Christmas, we are particularly aware of the excitement in the air, of the joy and the hope and the peace and the love. 
We give you thanks for your big, great family of children, of children who come to us as siblings and family members, who come to us as neighbors and dear friends, and who come to us as passerbys and acquaintances. We have lifted many things to you in prayer this morning, and surely there are countless numbers that we have not named aloud. We give thanks that you know them completely before a word is on our lips. In particular, keep us safe, those who travel to and fro in these days of frenzy and busyness. Be with those of us who are grieving fresh losses, who are aware of old wounds, who are alone in these cold winter days. Help us to remember that your love tucks in beside us in the coming again of Jesus and in the story and the word of God itself. We pray all these things in the hope and in the promise of your son who comes to us as a babe in a manger, Jesus the Christ. Amen. We have much to be grateful for on this morning as we do on every morning that we wake and we take in breath again. We come in that spirit of gratefulness when we are invited to bring our gifts forward and to make an offering indeed in the midst of worship. So may our morning offering be received.
Welcome everyone to our Christmas pageant at the First Congregational Church. We are so glad you could come here today. The children from our church school are here to show our Christmas story. And Henry is here to start the service. Thank you. Getting ready for Christmas. Jobs to do. Bulletins to print for upcoming worship services. Christmas flowers to deliver. Songs to rehearse. People to visit. Excuse me? Is this the church? See, I've overslept, and I missed a meeting with Chief Angel Gabriel. Can you help me, please? I've got a job to do, but I don't know what. Don't know where, but one of the other angels said, ask the church. They will help you. Can I put my alarm clock somewhere safe? Oh, yes. Put it up here out of the way. Yes, I'll help you in a minute, but first I must start the service. It's a very busy time of year for a pastor, you know. Let us sing, I saw three ships. Excuse me, but the pastor seems so busy with the service. Can you help me? See, see, I've late and missed a meeting with Chief Angel Gabriel. Now I've lost. Now I'm lost, and I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Of course, this song might give us a clue. It's the Christmas story you're trying to help with, isn't it? Oh yes, didn't I say? Well, in this song, all the activity is about this mom and dad to be Mary and Joseph, who have to go on a journey just when their baby is due. So that's the start. But do you think that you could help me with one of these songs? I've got to do it for the people in the service. But really, I've been too busy to get ready for Christmas to practice. Oh, I like singing. Actually, that's one of the things I'm, post I'm supposed to do well. Great. Okay. This song is A Little Town of Bethlehem.
I'm off to Bethlehem. That's where I'm supposed to be. Now that the angel's gone, we'll be able to do our service. You'll be on soon, children. In fact, oh dear, maybe if we cut out the sermon, we're short of time now with all these angel interruptions. The next song is Away in a Manger. I'm very, I'm very sorry, but I was off to Bethlehem. Then I realized that I don't really know the way, and I'm listening to your song. So, how can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. You all seem so kind. I was wondering if you could tell me more. So, you see, now I know that, some, that something is going on in Bethlehem with this baby Jesus. I, can keep wondering, I, I, can, I keep wondering what I'm supposed to do there. Well... Oh dear, oh dear, now I've done it. What is this book anyways? It's a Bible, you know. It might just tell us what you need to know. Great, good. Well, what does it say? Just a minute. Here it is, the reading for today. It's written by Luke, the story of the birth of Jesus. And she gives birth to her firstborn son and wraps him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for him in the inn. In that region, they were, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the glory and the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. So what do you think? Well, I love singing. Maybe if you turn up with a new song for Chief Angel Gabriel, it won't matter so much that I'm late. Could you teach me one? Well, perhaps we could find one oh my God. that we could all sing with you. Look, here's one about telling everyone. We can sing it now with everybody here, if you like. Go tell it on a mountain. Go tell it on a mountain.
we're getting through the songs, okay? I hope you can all bear with us. I honestly don't think I've ever had so many interruptions. Still, we can get on with our nativity story now. Let's see, yes, the shepherds are out in the fields. It's cold out tonight. Yes, and we need our supper soon. All the sheep are safely in and we... Hello, look, it's the shepherds. I must be close now. Hello, it's another one of those angels. What are you doing here? The others have all gone. Oh no, I can't bear it. First of all, I overslept and missed the meeting with Gabriel. Then I go to the church and find out, uh, and find out about Mary and Joseph, Bethlehem, and the baby Jesus being born in the stable and his mother laying him in the manger. I even found out I'm supposed to be singing and now you say all the angels have gone? We're off to see the baby Jesus in Bethlehem. We'll show you the way if you want. Gosh, I mean thanks. I love to go. Haven't you found the way to the stable yet? No, I'll never find it. The ages have all gone, and the shepherds will be there by now. Well, there are other people here who can help. Let's, let's ask them. Shall we help the angel? Now, everyone, when you came in, did you remember to bring something from home? Could you hold them up, please, all of you? Brilliant, thank you. Now do you remember what the name of this pageant is? Follow the star. Follow the star. No, wait. <laughs> Did you hear that, Angel? No. Can it the adults say it together? Follow the star. If everyone said it together, I think I hear the words. Follow, Follow the star. But which one? The, star, the stars are so lovely, but I need the, the, to find the one that leads me to Jesus. Where's the star? It's behind you. It's behind you. What? Yeah, that's Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this time together. Thank you for the angel who has helped us to think about Christmas. Show us how to look for and follow the star so that we can find you in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. Angel, I'm glad you interrupted us. Do come again sometime. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap, asleep 
Thank you.